Hi there, YouTubians. G-String Wonder here. I want to show you my latest creation. It's a model of HMHS Britannic, sister ship to the Titanic and Olympic. Although she was built as a passenger liner, she was put into service as a hospital ship during World War I. Made several crossings transporting wounded soldiers. And on November 21st, 1916, while crossing the Aegean Sea near the island of Kea, she struck a mine laid by the Germans and sank within 50 minutes. Of her 1,065 passengers and crew, only 30 died, 1,035 surviving. This model is 1,570 at scale, and uh, that's smaller than my Titanic models. It's about 18 and a half inches long, and the seabed diorama base is a little less than 24 inches long. Now let's take a little tour of the ship. Here we are at the forward section. The bow is split at the uh, forward well deck. This large split isn't uh, because of uh, direct uh, damage from the mine that it struck, but rather when the ship sank and hit the seabed, the beak plowed into the ocean bed and the momentum of the ship carried it forward a bit and caused it to split right there as you see. This is, of course, the port side. The starboard side is where the mine struck. There's the collapsed forward mast. And we'll start working our way aft. Here's one of the funnels. I'm thinking that it may be the number one funnel since it's closest to that part of the deck. Although it's flattened, it's in very good shape to this day. I modeled this as I would have envisioned the ship just a few years after her sinking before she took on the heavy layer of uh, incrustations sea life that uh, has attached itself to her. Although she sank quickly, she was able to put out, uh, I believe, 35 lifeboats Notice these uh, Wellen davits, similar to the ones on Titanic. They were manually cranked. But also, you can see, as we go aft, these large gantry cranes. They were electrically driven, and uh, they were able to deploy several lifeboats in succession. The aft mast is now laying flat on the seabed. I'm imagining that the mast broke off completely several years after the wrecking of the ship due to uh, rusting away of the relatively thin metal. I can't prove that, it's just my theory. There's the port side blade that was responsible for um, destruction of a couple lifeboats and uh, the deaths of uh, 30 men. Okay, here's a view from the stern section. As you can see, obviously, the ship is laying on its starboard side. It's still in very good shape. The ship uh, is only a little over 400 feet below the uh, surface of the water, less than half the length of the ship. 
technical divers are able to explore the ship, which was discovered in 1975 by Jacques Cousteau. Moving forward to the bow section. Okay, we're now looking at the beak, which is uh, warped and twisted from its collision with the seabed. Looking aft at the remains of the bridge, the remains of the funnel, The starboard side gantry cranes. Looking at the cranes in the aft section of the ship. And here's a view looking down at the decks. Alrighty then, well there you have it, HMHS Britannic in one 570th scale. Hope you enjoy. Have a nice day.